How's it going? I'm Peach Projects and I make things for myself and other people. Today I'll be making a bottle opener for how to drink, if he'll respond to my DMs. And without further ado, let's get into it. And today we will be using this very sexy piece of wood. Nice. No, I just need to make a box and fill with resin. See where we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure this poster board will work. And done. Now what's left to do is just put on some hot, more hot glue and pour the resin. Here goes the first pour of many. And this should bring me up to halfway. Or maybe not. And for the center of the bottle opener, I will be using hops. It's what gives beer that bitterness and it also kind of looks like cannabis if you had no idea what cannabis looked like, which gives me a great idea. That's some good looking cannabis right there. Oh, excuse me. Excuse yeah, me, well, sir. What, what, what is that? Sure, sure thing, kid. And now that we know it works, let's get back to making a bottle opener. Up making the final batch of resin for tonight. I'm just gonna do one final pour just to stick this down and back to the pressure pot. Alright, so now I've taken it out of the pressure pot. Uh, looks not bad. I guess just mix up another batch of resin, pour over it, and back to the pressure pot. Alright, now this piece has a lot of bubbles in it, so what I'm now going to do is put it in this pressure pot, and that should get rid of all, if not all, the bubbles. Shrink them down so you can't see them, and I'm hoping that's what happens here. Putting it down. Now... I know there's an actual attachment to put in here, however, I don't own it, so this has been working for me. Pressure it up to 30 PSI and call it a day. So it's been about three days since I've taken this out of the pressure pot, and I gotta say, I'm more than happy with the result. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. Alright, so I got it off the best I could. Uh, I think the best option here is just burning it off and then a light sanding. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
safety purposes is done in a well ventilated area. In hindsight, it was not. That seems to be actually working. Nice. Let's try something different. Alright, so it's all sanded and down. I don't know if melting it off helped or not, but it, it's done. Now I just need to change this bit. And boop. Boop. If I'm being honest, I've never done this before. Getting close to a circle. All right, so I may have gotten a little, taken a few chunks out of here. I might try sanding and just to get past these. I don't know if that will do anything, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Candid camera, bitch. Oh yeah, I definitely messed that one up. You know, I feel like I should have saw this coming. Uh, I tried to find that chipped piece. Uh, I searched for about an hour and only found this tiny little piece. So, I'm just gonna go see what some uh, five minute epoxy can do. Well, I might as well clean this mess up. I'm gonna be attempting to repair this with some five minute epoxy resin that I got back in high school. If I remember correctly, that one smelled awful. So would this stuff smell like, oh brother of mine? I'm not gonna lie, that turned out a lot better than I thought. Alright, so I got this mounted on the lathe again. Uh, I just, I'm just gonna do a quick sanding and that's about it. Well, back to turning I guess. Let's not mess it up this time. Well, this is a tool. Actually, no. It's a reverse carbide rate that I uh, put a carbide, reverse carbide bit on. I don't, I think that's what it's called. Reverse carbide bit. I thought you said you knew what it was. I don't. I, I have an idea. I'm like almost sure that's what it is. I don't know.
move on to this micro mesh pads. Last grit. All right, so I got this CA glue. A uh, buddy of mine showed me how to do this. So hopefully I don't mess it up. I think this will give it a really nice, like, plastic-ish, nice, clear, very good words coating. So I'm really liking the way the wood grain's looking in all this. I just need to polish it back up with micro mesh pads and I think we'll be ready to put the bottle top on it. On to the last one. Lunchtime. All right, for the top of the bottle opener, the actual bottle opener part, uh, I found this old bottle opener. I'm just gonna, it's a little bit dirty. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit with some degreaser, some steel wool. And that was the wrong direction. I don't have anything to say. It's just this. It definitely looks a lot better than I did before. Shiny. Good. Nice. That's what I was going for. If that's what you want when you shine metal, you want a shiny metal. Alright, now here comes the hard part. I gotta fit this on this. Oh, well, that's neat. I wish that didn't happen. All right, it looks worse than it is. I think I can just fit this on here. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I messed up too bad. I think it'll all work out. All right, I think we know what's going on here. Uh, fixing I messed up. So I guess what I'm, my plan is right now, uh, just to kind of coat this, or fill this top back up with some epoxy. And hope that hope that fixes it. All right, so well, this is going swell all the way around. That is dripping. See, I'd say that turned out not so bad. Yep, that definitely went off without a hitch, and I definitely didn't break a piece off, and I had to reposition the piece. No, nope, that's didn't, yeah. All right, now the final touch. Oh, it's that's that's fun. That's very fun. I wish that wasn't happening. I think that turned out really well. Now I just gotta cut off that final one. Well, if I mess it up now, there's not really a turning back point I can go to. All right, that's getting real close. Omae wa shindeu.
This thing's fun. <laughs> Oh, it's loosening up, baby. There we go. Look at it. I'm proud for once. Man, the only thing left there is to do now is just sand the bottom. Wow, that was unnecessarily complicated. However, I don't have a good excuse. If I had to change anything differently, I definitely would have stabilized the wood beforehand, but live and learn, I guess. At least I got a working bottle opener. Not even noon. Well, you know what they say. No, no, I don't. Please like and subscribe. I spent way too much money on this project.